students from School of the Arts in Rochester rallied and marched on Tuesday to oppose Superintendent Brizard's proposed 2011-2012 budget, which would cut 908 teaching positions district-wide. that I've been working for through my high school education up to now is being jeopardized by this budget plan. Yeah. After, after the budget cuts had been announced, um, we had the first meeting for protests and um, things to organize to fight this. And our entire um, lunchroom in our school was filled with soda students, uh, former soda students, uh, faculty, uh, parents and people from other schools so the support that we're getting from at least from our point of view from School of the Arts is incredible and um, while all of those people might not be here today as it as as this gains momentum I really think there's going to be a huge surge in support. The self-organized student march ended at the school central offices where a hearing was held. Approximately 100 students, teachers, parents, community members, and activists articulated reason why the Brizard budget is unacceptable. These people are filled with ideas about how to not hurt students who choose to cut very close to the classroom. I don't think you understand what democracy truly is if these are your actions. The community is your livelihood. You enact our intentions, not the other way around. Right. You listen to us and respond to our ideas. Listening to us in two minute increments is barely the first step. If you're cutting professionals anywhere near students, you're doing it wrong. John Claude Rosario makes $248,520 a year. He got an increase. $9,460. Mm -hmm. Kim Dice Fawcett, mm -hmm. chief of staff, mm -hmm. she makes $218,000. Yep. $323. An increase of $72,900. Yep. Yep. Seems like this bloated department had too much money to begin with this current year. And then they had to find a way to waste it 